Hi there. I wanted to create a short video on creating a macro for accessing an email template. Now we all use email templates, or if you don't, you really should because it can save you a lot of time. But Outlook doesn't make it real easy to access that template. So let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, to access a template, I have some templates made, but to do that you have to come up here to on your home tab. Go to new items, click on that, get the drop down. Go to the more items, go down to choose form, and then it'll bring another one up. Then you need to go find your user templates in your system and under there. And then let's just pick this one. So that template and open that up. So that was a few steps. I mean, it's not real difficult to get to, but it takes a few steps to get to. And if you're going to be sending a lot of these template emails, you want to be able to send it quickly and and not go through all those steps. So is there a way to do that with maybe one button? Well, there is. And it's a, it's a pretty easy macro to put together. So it's a few steps, but once you get it set up, you'll really appreciate the time that it's going to save you. So let me show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and close this. And what we need to do first uh, before we start this is we need to find out where that template is at because that's uh, how we're going to find it uh, later on. So let's go ahead and go through those same steps again. Let's go down here to the more items, choose form, uh, find the user templates. And we don't care about the file just yet. What we need is we need this folder path. So grab that folder path and hit Control C, copy that, and then cancel it. Now go to OneNote or Notepad or something like that, and then let's go ahead and just paste it over here. We want we're going to come back to that. Now this right here is the code for the macro, and it's pretty easy. We'll get to that in just a second. Okay, now that we have that, the next thing that we're going to need is we're going to need the folder name, excuse me, the file name. So you can see when we get to our uh, macro, we're going to have file path, and then we'll need the file name. <clears throat> That's pretty easy too. Go to Windows Explorer, simply up here, uh, Hit Control V and paste that in there. And you need to get rid of these because it won't know that file. And hit Enter. And there it is. So here's the folders. Here's the folder with our email templates in it. And this is the macro. This is the file name that we're going to use for this macro. So let's just like right click if we're going to rename it. And all we're going to do is hit Control C. So all we're doing is getting the exact name. That's uh, going to be important. Let's go back to our OneNote and just paste that. Okay, so now we have a couple things that we're ready to do. Now, let's go back to Outlook and let's get ready to do that macro. Okay, a couple steps to do that. What you're going to need is you're going to need the Developer tab. Very easy to get to. Just somewhere up here in the, in the tabs up there, just click on any of them. Right click, hit your Customize Ribbon. And you want to come down here and you will see this developer tab. So you just want to turn it on. It's not very difficult. It's pretty easy. Turn that on. Okay, so now you'll see it right there. Now, click on that. Now you'll want to come over here to Visual Basic and you can open Visual Basic. Now you can see that I already have a couple of those done. So what we're, what we're going to do is, if you've never done this before, just go ahead and hit Insert Module. And so we're going to start a new one here. Now, that code that you saw up there is exactly what we're going to copy from here. And I'll walk you through that. So let's just copy this. Control C again. Let's go back to our Visual Basic. And let's paste that in there. All right. So what we need to do is we need to name it first. OK, so this is just copy paste. So I'm going to call that, let's say, email template and underscore, and this one is a request for proposal, so RFP, okay? And if you're not copy and pasting this, uh, simply you need to type in set MSG, and then the equal sign, and then application create item from template, and then the uh, parentheses, and then the quote, okay? Then what you want is the file path. So let's go back to that file path. So all we have to do is just Grab this file path. Let's copy that. Let's go back to our, our code. 
and let's paste that in there, control V. Okay, now we need our file name. Oops, let's go back to here and just simply copy this, copy that name, and go back to here. And we want to make sure that we leave that dot OFT. It needs that dot OFT. And control V, and there we go. All right, and then you would return and then type in msg.display and then end sub. And that's it. That's the macro right there. And a quick way to run this, <coughs> excuse me, a quick way to run this is go ahead and hit the run button. It's possible to file this. Okay, and now a quick way to check this is to hit the run button. So let's hit run, and you can see right here it popped up and created that just quickly. And so now we or we have our macro. Now we just need to create a button to get to it. And that's pretty easy too. So let's go ahead and close this. Let's go back to our home button. And what we need to do is we need to kind of modify our ribbon here. And we want to create a tab inside here. So probably within in between the respond and the quick steps is what we want to do. So again, up here, let's just anywhere, just click, right click, and let's customize the ribbon. And right now we're under the home tab, and we said between the respond and re, uh, the quick steps. So let's just click on respond, and then new group. And so this is gonna create a new group. So let's rename that, and let's call, the, let's call that macro, okay? So now we have a new tab. If you kind of, oops, it didn't show it. Customize it. Macro. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to add some commands to that. And the macro is what we want to add to it. I already have a couple of macros here, but the one that we just created was this uh, RFP. So let's go ahead and let's do that and let's add to it. And you can see that it's got a little icon right there and then the project email template is named, but we probably don't like that name. So let's rename that. And we're simply gonna rename that as email RFP. That's a pretty simple name. And let's just give it the little dollar sign. And we'll call that OK. And click OK. And there we go. So now we have a button right there. And if I click this button, look, one step, and there's my email. And I can simply create as many macros as I need and create as many buttons as I need for all the standard emails, all the email templates that I want to use. So. I hope that's relatively simple, and I hope that you can follow those steps, and I hope it saves you a lot of time. Thanks.